Vegas Pro features a powerful integrated motion tracking tool that enables you to track the movement of an object through the video frame. You can use this to apply spot color grading, pixelization, or other effects that follow along with the moving object. You can also use this to pin text to the tracked object so that the text moves along with it. In another tutorial video, you learn how to use the Bezier masking tool in Vegas Pro. If you haven't watched that tutorial, it's important that you do so now because the new motion tracking tools are included as a subset of the Bezier masking tools. So, assuming you've watched that tutorial, position your project cursor at the beginning of the timeline clip event that holds the video you want to track, or anywhere within that event that you want to start tracking. You don't have to start from the beginning of the event. You can start at whatever point makes sense. Create a mask over the top of the object in the video that you want to track. Regardless of the shape of the mask, motion tracking uses the shape's bounding rectangle, so it's not necessary to spend the time creating a detailed Bezier mask over the object. Usually a simple rectangular or oval mask will be perfect for what you're trying to do. In the Bezier masking parameters for the mask you're using for tracking purposes, typically that will be mask 1, click the Tracking Expand button. Click the Start button. A progress bar indicates where you are in the process, and you can see that animation keyframes are added in the animation area of the video event Effects dialog. The motion of the object is tracked to the end of the event, as long as the algorithm is able to identify the object being tracked. Sometimes, however, the tool loses the object and can no longer track it. In this case, click the Sync Cursor button at the bottom of the keyframe controller area and scrub the keyframe controller cursor to the spot in the video where the object being tracked is visible again. Now, use the Video Preview Interaction Controls to manually move the mask so that it once again includes the target object. In the Video Event Effects window, click the Start button again, and the tracking process picks up where it left off. Place your timeline cursor at the beginning of the tracked event and play your project. Watch your video preview window to confirm that you are satisfied with the object tracking. If it's not quite right, you have a couple of options. Assuming you want to try again, first select all of the keyframes in the keyframe controller area and delete them. It's not actually completely necessary to delete the old keyframes. If you start tracking again, Vegas will automatically delete the old keyframes and add new ones. Now, we'll try again. Before you start tracking, click the Options Expand arrow. The Precision drop-down enables you to use higher precision for your next tracking attempt. Choose High from the drop-down list. If the object you are tracking is mostly just changing position across the screen, the default mode setting of location will probably be sufficient. But if the object is also rotating or changing orientation and growing larger or smaller, choose the appropriate mode from the list to detect each of the movement, rotation, and size changes. Finally, for fast moving or rotating objects, you might need to lower the keyframe interval so that the tool collects data more frequently. There is really no hard and fast rule about the optimal settings. You'll just want to experiment with the different settings until you are happy with the tracking results. When you're happy with the tracking results, close the Video Event Effects window and view your work. When you combine the motion tracking feature with what you learned in the Bezier masking tutorial, you'll quickly learn to apply color grading or other effects that follow along with a moving object. We've included a Vegas script that will allow you to add pinned text. To add a text label to your project that follows the tracked object, choose Tools, Scripting, 
add text to motion track, then follow the script's procedures. When you're done, you will have a placeholder text event on a new track above your video. Click the Text Events Generated Media button to access the text controls and enter in the text and attributes you want. When you're finished, play the project and the text follows along with the tracked object.